Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. This is the final part of Silver Story. Are you ready to see this finally over, ladies and gentlemen? I know I am! Up to the insanity I have been driven into these past few parts. It just... I, I, I can't... All I can say is I'm way too happy to go crazy right now. No matter what happens. No, no matter what happens. I don't even care that all of my rocks blew up in my face again. And that I'm playing almost nearly exactly the same fight as before with Iblis. You know, I'm on a... What the? I'm on a platform, catching rocks, throwing them at his head. He has a more menacing looking form now. Slightly less more of a lava glob and more of a... What the fuck even is this? Iblis suddenly learned... Ninja techniques of some kind? I don't know. I don't know. Uh. He's trying to destroy this foothold. Silver, don't let him get you too. That was so pitiful. I don't see how he could have gotten me. Now, Silver. Oh, now you're gonna go ooga booga booga at me. Well, I'm gonna poke your eye. Jeez, that was wholeheartedly intelligent of Iblis to do right there. Just stand there and go... I'm gonna get you! Just long enough for Silver to float right into his face and do some sort of psychic mash on his eye. Oh, what's this though? More chakra technique? You building up some sort of spirit bomb? Well, guess what? I'm immune, bitch! You know... The idea that Silver would be able to catch something so tremendously huge being thrown at him might have come off as a little bit more surprising and or interesting if... Uh, I don't know. I hadn't seen it in, I think, one of the trailers. I don't know. I could have sworn I knew to do this before I started the game. And, you know, even if I didn't, it's kind of obvious. <clears throat> to a certain degree. I mean, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> oh my eye! Yes, end it now! I will throw a rock at your face! Anticlimactically. As such. And thus ends the reign of the terrible Iblis Monster of the Week of this video game, ladies and gentlemen. Or at least, major Monster of the Week of this lady. This lady. Well, Looks like he I'm is. On a roll. Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, we're done! Oh god, yay! Your power. Eternal Sun! The living flame that has been entrusted to the royal family. Fall into slumber with my soul, Iblis! You cursed flames of disaster! Ah! No! Why won't it accept me as the vessel? I'll take Iblis. Don't worry. My soul is already alit with flames. I will be accepted. Come on! Make it quick! Use your chaos control to stop time, then seal us into a different dimension! No! 
I can't do that to you. Didn't we already go through this? We agreed to save the world at any price. What to do without you? You fought alongside me to save the world. You're my friend, right? You're still so naive. But I I've always liked that about you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking. Uh, where the heck did the whole ceiling blaze in another dimension using chaos control come into the plan? Uh, did they discuss this beforehand at a, at some point that I'm not aware of? Oy. Also, we have dreams of an absolution, Silver's theme for this game. Uh, not so big on the lyrics, but then I've never been a big songs with lyrics person. I do kind of like the tune a bit. That again, as most people will probably note, the tune belongs to Green Hill Zone, whether intentionally or not. <laughs> You'll notice a little bit more of it later, but, uh... Oh my fucking god! Silver's story is complete. Holy bloody frickin' Luya, folks! Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, god. I... Hate time travel plots, especially ones that involve someone from the far distant post-apocalyptic future coming back to change the path somehow, or any one that involves you know just someone coming from the future to fix the past, or worse, going into the past. I, I oh fuck it. There's only one time I can ever stand time travel, and even that has its... Even then, it really pinches it real bad. And that would be the Back to the Future movies. When you, when you do stuff like this, when you, re when you try to recreate the history of Trunks for Dragon Ball Z in hedgehog form, type of plot that goes on in this game. I just cannot. I do not. I... What? I hate time travel. I tried to go into it a little bit earlier in one of the earlier parts, but quite frankly, it just... It will endlessly continue to boggle me, the time travel conceptions of this game. They're inconsistent, they're mind-numbingly impossible to wrap my brain around, such as the scene displayed here where he gives Elise the Chaos Emerald that she loses to Eggman 
that Eggman, for some stupid reason, put in that robot and thus loses to Silver, who ends up giving it to... Ah! That Chaos Emerald disintegrate from sheer magnitude of stupidity. If nothing else. And Blaze? She barely adds anything to this story at all. Other than to give Silver a, uh, his own companion in his story. Someone who he can relate with. And quite frankly, she was so un she seemed so uninvolved with everything that was going on in Silver's story up until the very end, where she sacrifices herself in a way that I still do not quite grasp. that I really just do not feel for her, or Silver's feelings for her. They only had, like, maybe one or two instances to build up on the relationship between the two of them. And, quite frankly, I did not read much into it. So Silver's story, you know, definitely better than what we got out of our main hedgehog of the series, slash, you know, title hedgehog of the game. But thanks to bad story development, a completely stupid pink hedgehog, and a cat that just doesn't belong, it's not that much better. But anyway, with this part out of the way, with the silver story out of the way finally, I can get on to finishing a few other things, I suppose. I guess the next thing I should do is do the maximal playthrough for Beast Wars Transformers. I can get that done and out of the way. Then I can pick up on Shadow's story. I should, learn, I should know better than to even ask people what I want to do next in regards to this game because after playing as Silver, I realize it's definitely true what they say. If you're gonna play this game, you do not want to have yourself as exhausted as I was during the Silver playthrough by the time you reach the final story. So I'm gonna save Shadow for next so that I at least have some energy to run on into the, into the last story. And then once I'm done with Sonic 06, uh, well, I guess we'll go more into that when I actually completed it, but I've already mentioned that it's probably going to be Ghostbusters the video game for PlayStation 3. And then after that... I don't know, probably gonna go on a long hiatus if I can't think of anything else to put before Sonic Heroes, because quite frankly... I don't want to play it, if I haven't made that very clear already. But, uh... I suppose that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. Unless someone else has something to request... I'll see you guys... next time. See ya!